Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series. And today I am going to be taking a look at another 2021 release, this time from saxophonist Logan Richardson, who has played and collaborated with a number of musicians such as Joe Chambers, Billy Hart, Butch Morris, Greg Osby, Stefan Harris and Jason Moran, to name a few. And Recently, Logan Richardson has been on a real roll. Ever since his 2015 album with Pat Spathini, Logan Richardson has transformed from being a normal standard sax player to a very special, unique player in his own right. And he's developed this very unusual sound, which he has been exploring for the last couple of albums now. And to me, Logan Richardson has created this sound which is very much his own and when you hear him you know straight away who it is and the thing that I've noticed with Logan Richardson in terms of his compositions they incorporate a lot of hip-hop sounds lots of loops and it's got a very atmospheric sort of feel to it but it's not that Logan Richardson has completely gone down a hip hop path. He's still very much a jazz man through and through, but the way he's been able to incorporate so many of these different sounds and creating this very unique soundscape with his saxophone has just been a real thrill to watch and listen to. And this latest recording is kind of a continuation of what Logan Richardson has been doing recently. And in my opinion, this album, which I'm about to speak about in a moment, is just absolutely amazing. And when you look at the first two albums Logan Richardson done, I mean, they were okay, but they were pretty normal jazz standard albums. And then he done the 2015 project Shift with Pat Smithini. And just from that collaboration with a legend like Pat Smithini, he's just been on fire and he's just completely changed. And this latest recording, which came out in 2021, is Afrofuturism. So Afrofuturism, just like in the name of the title, it incorporates a lot of Afro sounds mixed with futuristic mentality. And it's just unbelievable. It's I've never heard a sax player make an album like this before. I mean, I've heard sax players on ECM dabble into chamber-esque sorts of sounds like Young Gabarak, but this is just absolutely unbelievable. And it's one of those albums you've really got to sit and listen to. And he's got his own working bands now. And this band that Logan Richardson has had for the last album or two now, they've just been unbelievable. And Logan Richardson has really come into his own as a composer. I mean, he was always a great player, but now he's just become one of the best sax players on the scene today. And he's still in his prime. That's just what's amazing about it. He's still a young man with a whole future in front of him. So this is Afrofuturism, and this features Stefan Harris, Igor Obispov, Dijana Richardson, Laura Talutelier, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Corey Fonivile, Great Grandmother Wolf, and Esgi Karakus, and Peter Shinlab, Dominique Sanders, and Ryan J. Lee, and many more great musicians. And is also a bonus track as well. So let's have a quick look. So the bands are Logan Richardson on alto sax, piano, keyboards, Igor. Osipov on electric and acoustic guitars, Peter Schlem on vibraphone keyboards and keyboard bass, Dominic Sanders on bass, keyboard bass, Ryan J. Lee on drums, Corey Fonivile on drums also, Laura Tagular Latilla on vocals, and Esgi Karukus on strings. All compositions written and composed by Logan Richardson. It's a very unique album. And as I said, it's kind of like a concept album in a way, but not a concept album on the prog side of things. Some tracks do sound like King Crimson, actually, believe it or not, but it's very unique and it's pretty much its own beast. So tracks we've got are Say My Name, The Birth of Us, Awaken, Sunrise, For Alto, Light, Trap, Grandma, Farewell, 
goodbye. Black Wall Street, photocopy, roundup, according to you, praise song and the bonus track. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> so as I said, it's pretty much incorporates a lot of African beats with futuristic sounds and he just combines all of them into one unique sound and it's just an incredible album and this is probably one of Logan Richardson's biggest albums and he's just getting better and better and I'm really looking forward to seeing him live if and when he you know shows do resume and as I said you've got to really listen to this all the way through so the standout tracks for me are The Birth of Us, Farewell Goodbye, Black Wall Street, round up and according to you but this is just a very beautiful but unique recording and one that i highly recommend everyone check out you will not be disappointed so there you have it logan richardson afro futurism another strong contender for album of 2021 so there you have it so that's going to be it for me i'm going to wrap this up now What's your favourite track from Afrofuturism? Is it The Birth of Us? Is it Sunrise? Is it Grandma? Farewell Goodbye? Or is it Wall Black Wall Street? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite tracks. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Jazz Albums Review Series where I'm going to be covering some more 2021 releases. So make sure you don't miss that. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, thanks for listening.